Hi, I'm Jonathan Caroli, and I'm a cellist in the Los Angeles Philharmonic. I'd like to talk a little bit about the benefits of having a relaxed, seamless, even vibrato, and how we can go about achieving that. So, I'd like to think a lot more about the hand and the whole lower arm, the whole arm here, and much less about the fingers. We can temporarily kind of think about letting the fingers go. They're largely irrelevant in order to have a nice, even sound from one note to the next. So let's experiment and try a bit. Let's take a note like G on the D string. <laughs> hand that's continually in motion um, and playing around with the thumb, for instance, for sure, making sure not to squeeze as that causes a lot of problems. And in my case, because I like my hand a bit pronated, I like my thumb more or less across from the first finger, maybe between the first and second a little bit. But I find if we bring it too far down, it creates quite a bit more tension in the hand. Um, but so we can for sure play around with that. Uh, the thumb and what we're doing because we need to experiment to see different fingers feel feel different um, So if you try now doing an exercise where you try to move very seamlessly from note to note by half step for instance <laughs> full of tension and try to play around. Let's try to loosen that up a bit. Perhaps for many people, I know for myself, probably the fourth finger is the hardest finger to vibrate and have a nice smooth vibrato on. So um, maybe like letting go of the thumb on that note, try taking it off of the neck. <laughs> Once you get comfortable with doing this half step type of progression, try using different finger combinations. Any combinations here, just to... with the goal of having the hand continually in motion and that having that wah wah wah, a slow enough oscillation. This is a place that I find is a really great starting point for vibrato where then depending on the music we're playing and the passages, we can speed it up, we can do many things with it, make it more intense, but it's good to have this kind of baseline starting point. Um, very often cellists have developed the habit of starting and stopping the vibrato on each new note, something like this. <laughs> This is for sure a habit that we do want to avoid. It also can creep into our right hand. I think that the right hand could then compensate and we can develop some portato that we don't want. I'm exaggerating, but this is for sure to get to a high level of playing. That's something that we want to get out of our uh, the way we play. Um, so let's make sure that to... Um, uh, the effect of this, of course, is to interrupt our smooth legato playing, which for this purpose we want to have. Um, so a couple examples that I'd like to show that can show why it's so beneficial to have that hand in motion. First of all, obviously in cello playing and in all string playing and in all playing, we want to be as tension free and relaxed as possible. Naturally, we're going to have tension and we don't need to add to it. So if I take an example of a piece like the Beethoven uh, minuet that people know here, and I really try to play with a very relaxed, loose hand. Whatever. Um, one real advantage of having a really relaxed hand is on those little notes, this. If the hand is continually in motion and we're not thinking about the fingers, it's really not a big deal to vibrate seamlessly throughout. 
if there's tightness, that's when you get a lot of notes that stick out that are not dead notes and it's we've got too much ups and downs there and it detracts from the sound, it detracts from the color that vibrato should add to our playing. So this passage, whatever it might be, that we keep that going. Um, another place that can be really tricky is in the middle section of the cello. So a passage like the first movement of the Elgar Concerto um, theme, to try to have a consistent vibrato running throughout is really tricky and it's something we really have to work on. something like that and keep it going. If we have tension in the hand, you have a lot of times places like that where the notes stop and start. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and um, I'd like you to please check out my YouTube channel and visit my website and thank you so much.